What's up y'all, today we have a drafted jersey swap graphic that I made for Air Force football. So let's get right into it. So there's a bunch of different ways to do a jersey swap graphic, but I'm just gonna take you through the way that I did it. And luckily I didn't have to do the lower half. So basically what I did is use this tool right here to take his jersey and do content aware fills basically all over his body where the different patches were. So there's one right here. So I replaced that with what was around it using content aware fill. Then I did it with Air Force and then I had to do another one because it didn't work super well right there then i did it with that air force patch in the middle then i did it with the nike check again all this like looks pretty good it's not perfect but it looks pretty good and then i did it with the mountain west logo i believe that is then i did it with the numbers which is harder because i had to you know go along his arm right there and it still didn't get it perfect so i had to do it again then i did it below where the number was sticking out a little bit and then there were some more lines right here so i had to fix those and then i changed the color to gray i basically i I think I just desaturated the blues on the cutout. And then I used a curves layer to brighten up those blues and I just painted that on to the jersey. Then I started adding in the uh, shoulder pad numbers and logos using Cam Jordan's photos. Luckily they're the same number or Cam Jordan is the same number in the pros as Jordan Jackson was in college. So I got to use his jersey for everything, which is great because you can find a lot of high quality images images of him online because he's an all-star player. So then I found, actually then I used that same image and I think I just swapped it. So I put that on both sides, put the numbers on top of his shoulder pads, which you can barely see anyway. And then I changed his armbands to be black, just using a curves layer, dragging down the brightness. And then I painted in some shadows to go along with the shadows on these numbers from Cam Jordan's jersey. So what I did here was I had this photo of Cam Jordan and I pulled this slider down, which you do by pressing alt and then dragging to the left which takes away some of the lighter areas of that layer and so that to go back and then I just brushed it on only right here that was what it looked like without the shadows that I painted on and so you can see how like these numbers have like highlights and shadows that should be continuing on past the numbers but because it's a different photo it doesn't do that so I had to add those shadows in myself which are not perfect it just kind of makes it more realistic if you do that and I just used a soft black brush to do that then I found this picture of cam with the collar of the jersey that's black and then I added that in and just kind of like painted that in to make it look sort of realistic um, it's not perfect but I feel like that looked pretty good then I added some shading around him so I could put the helmet on so I'll take that away I found this helmet this is another picture uh, that I cut off of cam Jordan and then just cut like all around all these holes to make it look like it's just a helmet and then I added in the shading below it and inside the helmet to make it look like the helmet was on his head and that's not perfect and that's not always the best way or the easiest way to do it but I had this picture of Jordan Jackson and I thought it was pretty straightforward so I might just be able to add on the helmet and make it look realistic and when I found a good picture of the helmet that made it easier because then you don't have to swap the colors and the logos and stuff that's on the helmet so you can just put it straight on and then leave it so then once I had all that swap I added in the background texture which is just paper texture the lines that Air Force likes to use and I found a photo of the stadium and blurred it and then there's some weird like blue coloring or something going on over here so I just painted in some black and white over top of that then I added in the cutout that I made before with the jersey swap added in an inner shadow to make it look like there's light coming from behind him kind of like giving him a rim light around his body and then put on two color lookups to kind of give that one look like the background and him just give it one feel then I added in these clouds to make it more of an Air Force vibe and another cloud really close to the front with a blur on it and then just the lighting coming from the top left and then I just added in the text and this rectangle up top with a bevel and a gradient or no a gradient overlay and a drop shadow and then just added on the details up there the Saints logo on the top left so it's pretty straightforward again there's multiple ways to do jersey swaps feel free to check out these other draft videos but let me know what you think of this technique and if there's things that you think I could be doing easier or better let me know in the comments thanks for watching